Rule 134. Perpetuation of Testimony. Section 1. Petition. A person who desires to perpetuate his own testimony or that of another person regarding any matter that may be cognizable in any court of the Philippines, any file a verified petition in the court of the province of the residence of any expected adverse party. Section 2. Contents of Petition. The petition shall be entitled in the name of the petitioner and shall show, a, that the petitioner expects to be a party to an action in a court of the Philippines by is presently unable to bring it or cause it to be brought, b, the subject matter of the expected action and his interest therein, c, the facts which he desires to establish by the proposed testimony and his reasons for desiring to perpetuate it, d, the names of a description of the persons he expects will be adverse. Parties and their addresses so far as known, and, e, the names and addresses of the persons to be examined and the substance of the testimony which he expects to elicit from each, and shall ask for an order authorizing the petitioner to take the depositions of the persons to be examined named in the petition for the purpose of perpetuating their testimony. Section 3. Notice and Service. The petitioner shall thereafter serve a notice upon each person named in the petition as an expected adverse party together with a copy of a petition, stating that the petitioner will apply to the court, at a time and place named therein, for the order described in the petition. At least 20, 20, days before the date of hearing the notice shall be served in the manner provided for service of summons. Section 4. Order of Examination. If the court is satisfied that the perpetuation of the testimony may prevent a failure or delay of justice, it shall make an order designating or describing the persons whose deposition may be taken and specifying the subject matter of the examination, and whether the depositions shall be taken upon oral examination or written interrogatories. The depositions may then be taken in accordance with Rule 24 before the hearing. Shortly.ai is an artificial intelligence website that creates authentic, non-fiction articles that can write you articles in just two minutes. Use my link to save in cost. See description of this video. Section 5. Reference to Court. For the purpose of applying Rule 24 to depositions for perpetuating testimony, each reference therein to the court in which the action is pending shall be deemed to refer to the court in which the petition for such deposition was filed. Section 6. Use of Deposition. If a deposition to perpetuate testimony is taken under this rule, or if, although not so taken, it would be admissible in evidence, it may be used in any action involving the same subject matter subsequently brought in accordance with the provisions of Sections 4 and 5 of Rule 24. Section 7. Depositions Pending Appeal. If an appeal has been taken from a judgment of the Regional Trial Court or before the taking of an appeal if the time therefore has not expired, the Regional Trial Court in which the judgment was rendered may allow the taking of depositions of witnesses to perpetuate their testimony for use in the event of further proceedings in the said court. In such case the party who desires to perpetuate the testimony may make a motion in the said Regional Trial Court for leave to take the depositions, upon the same notice and service thereof as if the action was pending therein. The motion shall show. A the name and the addresses of the persons to be examined and the substance of the testimony which he expects to elicit from each, and b. the reason for perpetuating their testimony. If the court finds that the perpetuation of the testimony is proper to avoid a failure or delay of justice, it may make an order allowing the depositions to be taken, and thereupon the depositions may be taken and used in the same manner and under the same conditions as are prescribed in these rules for depositions taken in actions pending in the regional trial court. 7a. This application will let you trade all assets in the market today which include stocks, crypto, ETFs, indices, forex, commodities among others. You can also copy the trades of the best traders which is called social trading or copy trading. Earn rewards. Start by using my affiliate link. I may earn commissions from your registration.